Hello, welcome again to my channel, Rati Oktarini. In this channel, I'll be talking about linguistics, conversation analysis, and Indonesian language and linguistics. Feel free to browse through my other videos. Okay, this time in this video, I'm going to talk about what is linguistics. Now, let's start. What is linguistics? In a nutshell, linguistics is the scientific study of language. Someone who studies a language or languages is called a linguist. Linguists apply the scientific method to conduct formal studies of speech sound and gestures, grammatical structures and meaning across the world's 6,000 languages. Now let us move on to the key branches of linguistics. The first one is phonetics and phonology. Phonetics is the study of production and perception of speech sounds, while phonology studies the more complex and abstract sound patterns and structures, for example, syllables, intonation, etc. Then, the next one is morphology. Morphology is the study of words, how they are formed and their relationships to other words in the same language. Then we also have syntax. Syntax studies the structure and formation of sentences. The fourth notable key branch is semantics. Semantics focuses on the study of meaning, the meaning of words and sentences, as well as how context influences meaning. Then we also have pragmatics. Pragmatics cover language use in context and social and cultural aspects of communication. So, those are the key branches of linguistics. There are still other branches, such as historical linguistics, computational linguistics, psycholinguistics, and so on. The ones we have on the screen are just for a start. Now, let's touch a bit about the historical development of linguistics. We can trace the history of linguistics for as long as the language itself. If you're talking about linguistics as the scientific study of language or in the broadest term, uh, the study of language itself. We can start from the lexical list from Mesopotamia from the 3rd to the 2nd millennia BCE to the formal study of Sanskrit 6th to 4th century BCE. Then fast forward to the 20th century, the study of language or linguistics became more formalized. And there were two notable linguistic theories or approaches. They are structuralism and transformational generative grammar. You can go to Britannica.com if you want to know more about history of linguistics, including the two 20th century theories that I've just mentioned as well as some of the big names such as Wolf, Bloomfield and Noam Chomsky. When we are talking about the applications of linguistics, the first that comes into my mind is language teaching. Language teaching is probably the most traditional linguistics application. We are talking here, for example, this area of linguistics provide our studies, acquisition theories, which then provide important insights for language educators. Then, another application of linguistics is computational linguistics. Here, we are talking about, for example, the role of linguistics in natural language processing, or NLP, which is a branch of AI, or artificial intelligence, that enables computers to comprehend generate and manipulate language human language yeah then there's also machine translation nowadays nlp and machine translation have become ubiquitous in our everyday lives so this field becomes more and more important 
Then another notable application is forensic linguistics, where language is analyzed in legal context for legal purposes, for example, as evidence in crime investigations. Then there are also translation, translating from one language to another, as well as interpreting. Then language planning and policy. The next one will be bilingualism and multilingualism, which have considerable overlap with language teaching and language planning and policy. Then there's also language documentation, language assessment, and so on. Alright, before I end this very short video on linguistics, let me recap today's content. First, linguistics is the scientific study of language, from its constituents, the smallest such as units of sound, to the largest such as clauses and sentences, to meanings and how language or languages are in use. It is not an understatement to say that language is present in every part of our lives, from verbal to gesture, from our interaction with ourselves, another or other human beings to machines. Hence, there are also diverse areas of linguistics, where each is dedicated to studying specific aspects of language. All right, that's all for today. See you again in my next video. Goodbye.